Welcome back to Crafters TV. My name is Joe Remitz. It's such a pleasure uh, to have your company for another one of our masterclasses. Now, our masterclasses are where we really uh, show you in great depth and detail uh, around a product, but also all of the techniques that you're able uh, to achieve with that product as well. It's going to be a real education over the next uh, couple of hours. So make sure you're settled in, you've got yourself a cuppa uh, ready to go. Loads of you I can see online already saying, Saying hello, I can see uh, Nicole's here, Leanne, Pam in uh, Vancouver, Rosemary's here, uh, and Suzette I can see as well from Canada too. So I keep saying hello to me. I'm over on the Crafters TV Facebook page monitoring the conversation there. Now I'm not here alone. Let's face it, if it was just me for the next two hours, you probably wouldn't learn an awful lot. In fact, I could tell you a lot about like musical theatre, share, and Eurovision, but that's not why you're here. You're here to learn some crafting. So uh, I've drafted in one of my my uh, many fabulous uh, crafty friends. Leanne is here. How are you, Leanne? I'm very well, thank you, Joe. And I'm incredibly excited to be here with these number dies and um, templates. They are fantastic, and I'm thrilled to be able to bring you a masterclass on them because they're incredibly versatile. You can use them for so many different things, and everybody has a new age or a new anniversary or a new something every year, and so they're always going to be usable in your stash. They're really just fantastic, Joe. Uh, they are so, so versatile, aren't they? Uh, have you got some bits? Do you want to take us through the bits that you've got over there? Should I can we have see... a look? Yeah, I'd love to see. Let's have a little look. So these are the types of things I'm going to show you how to make, and the types of um, different examples of cards or projects that you're going to be able to make with these fabulous, fabulous number dice and stencils. So you can see here's a little one for a first birthday. Here we've got one for a 40th birthday. How fabulous is that? Brilliant that you can make a shaped card like that with these dice and stencils and it's so simple it's ridiculous. So I'm going to show you that um, in my first masterclass demonstration this morning. Look at this when you actually just use them and cut them out and then raise up the number in the self patterned paper how fabulous. See that's for somebody 86. You wouldn't get a card for an 86 year old on the high street. Um, you can customise these yourselves. This has got a bit of unicorn shaker sparkle in there that number four so that's for somebody who's turning four here's a number two so a little boy turning two with a little bit of shaker sparkle in there as well here's a card for somebody turning 20 leaving their teens not often you get a 20 year old card um, on the high street either it's usually just those standard numbers of 21 30 40 50 60 17 you've got to wait 10 years before you get another number again so they really are versatile but actually lots and lots of different techniques and it's about anniversaries years at college how many years you've been together as a couple if that's what you want to do it's just numbers attached to everything and they really are fab joe uh, they really are. A lot of you already own these as well. And that is the point of us doing these masterclasses. Uh, we sit, pick out a lot of product that uh, we know loads of you already own. So it means that now's the time. Either pause us or don't pause us. You can watch us back at any point over on the Crafts Companion website. Uh, you're going to be able, we're going to give you loads of inspiration for the items that you already have. Now, if you do want to go for the numbers, uh, we do have them available on the show for you. Uh, so you can get uh, zero right the way through to number nine. Details are on your screen at the moment. This is a price blast price uh, that we've got here. Oh, I nearly fell over. I did, I'm doing that a lot this week. That's like the fourth time I've nearly fallen over. I think it was the price that bowled me over. Uh, 47.94 or 77.70 if you're in the US. That's a price blast price. It is the last day for our price blast today. So we're taking the prices as low as we can physically get them. Now I will tell you they are available individually. However, the only way to get the zero is in this configuration right here. Um, I think numbers one, three, and five are also very limited as well, so you'll need to be quick for those ones. So if you want some of the individuals, you need to be quick. This is the best way to make the best saving though, as you can see, because this should have been uh, almost 80 pounds, almost $130, so you've got a great saving on this. Now, some other little bits on the show that will go really nicely alongside your numbers. These are the embossing folders that you've got here. So you can see uh, you've got some from our signature collections there as well. Uh, you've got some of the other embossing folders there too. So you've got, uh, you're going to get decorative lace, you're going to get rack, geometric florals, and ocean waves all coming 
uh, in here for you, which is fantastic. Now, the expression dies. I'm gonna run you through what you get, because I know from that screen, it's probably not the easiest to see. You will get in here, grandma, granddad, auntie, father, step, uncle, nephew, great, cousin, wife, mum, our, nana, niece, grand, sister, dad, friend, brother, son, silver, golden, anniversary, celebrate, uh, number one, world's best, on your, punctuation, belated, and with love. 31 different dies in there for you, less than a pound a die, uh, which is amazing value, over 60% off, you're saving more than you're spending, don't forget if you're in the club as well, Club Inspire members, it will go even lower uh, than that because of course uh, you're going to get your uh, Club Inspire discount, uh, bronze 5%, all that to platinum, uh, which is 20%, which is really, really exciting. Um, I need to let you know as well, don't forget, uh, viewers in the US, we will have that warehouse sale coming up tonight, the US warehouse, warehouse sale. A lot of you will have had an email about it already. It isn't open to UK viewers, I'm afraid, uh, but if you're in the US, get to the website I did mention last night said that a lot of the stock you would need to grab it as soon as it went on I know we've already had a lot of sellouts in the warehouse show we'll be bringing you uh, what is left of that uh, later today at 3 p.m. Uh, on the East Coast uh, so make sure you join us for that later now something else that is always popular we bring them to you and would, would work beautifully uh, with your large numbers are these are fancy fonts stamp and die now these are great because what you get is you get a die that's going to cut out the main element so this is your die cut element just here and then what you get is everything around that to allow you to create a bespoke sentiment uh, and card for you so what you've got is uh, for everything a million a bunch so much for all you do uh, for our help uh, for your help even special and just note to say so that's your thanks i'll show you the one stamps that you get on the next one as well the birthday with birthday you get happy or uh, may all your belated hope your wishes is as fabulous as you are boy girl uh, wishes come true and to you so the uh, stamps have been designed to um make really allow you to customize your own i'll go through all the different options for you you've got celebrate uh, you also have sympathy there is a happy sorry smile la love uh you've got thinking there's also special and family um where did we start friend thanks that's where we started Whew, i thought i was just gonna i thought we'd spend the whole two hours of me just going round and round and round with those boards uh you get all 12 there for 50 pounds or for 60 dollars uh three for 15 or 20 dollars uh, on your font stamp and dies if you want to go for those now a lot of the time when we do our shaker cards do recently we've been putting like chunky glitter in or saying we're really sorry we can't get the sequins because they're out of stock well Stop the press, shut the front door, shut the back door, run down the street naked because they are back in stock, as you can see just here. So they are available right now for you uh, over on the website. Uh, details there are along the bottom of the screen. They're £2.69 or $3.55. We've got the red, we've got the green, and we've got the sterling silver. I would be getting all three of those into your basket. You've got 50 grams in each of here, which is a really great size, and you've got a really great um, variation on shape in there as well. There's a whole host of other embellishments over on the website so make sure you go over there and check those out right I'm just going to quickly see who's saying hello here um, Donna is asking are crafters companion closing uh, the California warehouse no absolutely not we just have some surplus stock which we are using this warehouse sale to clear so uh, the California warehouse will be there for uh, it will be there for a good while yet don't you worry loads of you saying hi from all over um, a lot of you saying hi in Florida oh I'd quite like to be in Florida if we we're going to be anywhere in the US where would you be for me Leanne probably be New York or Florida or maybe West Hollywood oh nice all three um, for me, I would definitely be in Nashville. Nice. I would be in Nashville. I'd be listening to my country music. I'd have on my boots and my denim skirt, my Stetson, and I'd be drinking, drinking neat rum from a glass. Oh. <sighs> 
Did you remember that? Do you just have a moment with that? I mean, I haven't thought about that very often, Joe, at all. You know, it's not something I dream about. It's not ingrained in my memory or anything like that. And I haven't been to Nashville, actually, Joe, and it's on my bucket list. And I think as soon as the madness is over, myself and Mr C are going to treat ourselves to a Nashville holiday. Right. Now, here we go. Our number dies and stencils are absolutely and truly phenomenal and when you see how easy these are and how versatile they are you are absolutely going to want to get them out of your stash if you've already got them and start making stuff right away this afternoon along with me or you're going to take advantage of that fabulous day that we've got and start immediately so every package every number that you get every single one will have a deeper die so you've got the die there which is going to cut the number for you and you will have a stencil now you might ask why have I got a stencil that works with a number well I'm going to show you exactly why and it's all about being able to make perfectly shaped card bases that allow you to mat and lay your numbers on there so that you can really make a statement from them and if you're anything like me I cannot draw and cut to save for my life it could end up like a donkey's back leg not a fly's eyelash donkey's back leg and Whoa, looks terrible awesome. A warthog's nostril or a badger's whisker. I mean, really, whichever, whatever well, animal. going to say something else. Whatever animal in. and um, attachment is your favour. Let's just say <laughs> that. So what I've got here is a piece of cardstock which I've just scored and folded in half. Um, and it, it can be cut from your A4, from your 8 and a half, 11. The size is irrelevant, really, other than the fact that you can fit onto here your stencils. Um, to make the card base and your numbers so as long as your piece of card is big enough to fit on the numbers or stencils that you want to use then that is the piece of card that's big enough so I've got that there ready then what I'm going to do is just trace around the stencil now what are in true um, craft preparation style you can see I've already started to do that here and I just wanted to show you what I have done so you see I've lined this up and then what I've done is taken a pen or a pencil, whichever you prefer, and I've just gone through and marked all of the lines here. Now, you can use any of these lines. We give you several different lines to choose from on the stencil, and let me explain why. If I'd wanted to make this card a little bit bigger and I had a bigger piece of cardstock, I could have gone around the outside. Then, this line and this line would have given me the perfect shaped mat and layer let me show you what i mean by that here's the finished card we're going to create you can see i've got the outside card shape a mat and layer in the patterned paper and my number so it allows you flexibility with all of the spacing worked out for you so i've gone all the way around my number four you can see that there and then i put my zero on lined that up and went all the way around that inside line as long as you use the same inside line it doesn't matter um, which one you use whether you use the outside this one or this one it's going to create your card which is this big this big or this big choice is entirely up to you just depends on what you want the finished one to look like go all the way around and you can see what I've done is make sure that the four and the zero, I'm just going to pick that up so you can see. There we go. I've made sure that the four and zero just touch, which means I'm not going to cut straight through there. I'm going to cut up to it, but not through it, which will give me the card base that I need. You then need, everybody needs, your crafter's companion scissors because you're going to cut through two layers of centura with these. So do make sure you've got a really nice, sharp pair of scissors to do this and what you're going to do is just follow around the curve and I'm cutting around the top of the zero I went to the top because it's not joining there it's just going to join in the middle I'm coming all the way around you can see I'm turning my card not my scissor that's what makes it easier for you getting to that point and stopping and then rather than trying to get my scissors round here and getting myself a difficult, raggy, curved edge, what I actually do is start on the opposite side and come round to join it. It really just does make getting that central piece a lot more neatly, much more easily, because now I've got a whole piece I can bend to get my scissors inside. Does that make sense? So rather than just trying to follow it all the way around, cut from the left and the right, and then when you follow it round, because you can bend that piece in the centre, when you do that and that comes out, 
little snip. Must have lots of steps fans in today, you know, Leanne, because your favourite numbers individually are five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> oh, look at that. Yeah, they're your favourites individually. That, we should <laughs> sing it. Uh, don't forget as well, if you want to get zero, the only way to get zero is to get it in that main collection. And you've got such a great saving. You're saving over 40% on that. Don't forget, if you want to send us any pictures whatsoever, we adore receiving pictures of things you've been making. I know so many of you have got this set, so definitely send us some pictures. Studio uh, at craterscompanion.com. Uh, Anna has said... Uh, she would love to be hidden in your suitcase when you go to Nashville, oh. uh, if that's right. I uh, also just want to say to hello to all of our uh, everyone watching on YouTube as well at the moment. I'm not um, sending a text to my mum. I've actually got the YouTube comments on my phone. If you think I've, I look like I've just lost interest, I'm just sitting here on my phone. <laughs> I've got uh, Facebook on this one and, my, and YouTube on this one. Uh, so many people joining us uh, from the US this morning. Uh, Michelle from Pennsylvania, Joanne from New York, Molly from California, Christina from Alabama, uh, to name just a few. So hello to all of you, uh, no matter where you're watching us. So now that I've gone through, gone round and cut that, I've got my beautiful shaped card. So now I just need to cut the pieces that go on top. So I've got this already here. And um, you can see, left it attached just at the top there, just at the four there, left that little bit in the middle. So it's attached in all the correct places. And the stencil allowed me to create that. Okay. So next things, next things next, or next things first. I don't think that's a saying. I think I'm just first things that up. first. I think first you're things after. first. Thank you, Joe. First things first. Actually, I think I could probably use my junior plates for this. Yes, I can, and I'm going to. Why not? So I'm just grabbing my plates. Oh, I just need my other shims there, Joe. Bear with, bear with. Does anybody here in the UK like the Miranda show? Uh, to do uh, what? Do you the remember Miranda? Miranda? Yeah. Oh, I love that show. And I always say, bear with now. Bear um, with. Bear, bear with. with. Do you it's remember the hot. Christmas special where she locked the woman in the shop and the woman poked up from behind the the unit or the footstool or something and said like and sang can you let me out please do you remember I, that i do Fantastic. that was my friend uh annalisa yeah no way yeah that's amazing i think i might have had texts to you my and to in the past but you sent them to me when you got our numbers confused oh uh, no that was leanne who was i used it? to work with that was another leanne that, another that worked leanne. at uh at um creighton craft i used to text her quite a lot uh, when in fact I was texting Leanne, <laughs> Miss Leanne. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. I've put through the four and the zero. So I've cut those two numbers out, which are absolutely the perfect size and shape because you've got that beautiful statement die. Um, and actually, if I'd done them the other way around, I would have just keep that. If I'd put the four here and the zero there to... Sorry, not showing you. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about. If I had actually done that so it read like a 40, I could have kept that as an aperture and then build up the numbers inside mm. if I wanted to. So try, try to think about that rather than what I've just done, and you can use your waist as well. So I've got my four and my zero cut, and then what I'm going to do is just ink them up a little bit. So I'm just going to use one of my Spectrum Harmony Water Reactive, and then you just take your um, blending tool, come round, and colour up that number. Beautiful. Uh, Bernadette saying, why is six sad? Why is six sad? Why is six sad? I uh, have no idea. Why is Because sad? seven, eight, nine. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Cha -ching, boom. Love it. Thank Absolutely. you, Bernadette. Thank you. Right. <laughs> so I've done that with a colour now that matches my uh, lovely floral papers I've got here. But actually, you know those embossing folders we've got on the show, Joe? Yes. Um, it's really nice, I think, to sometimes give a little bit of texture to your numbers. So what I'm going to do is use that lovely wave folder that comes in that bundle. And before I stick my numbers to my card base, I'm going to emboss them. Fabulous. Mm. Gorgeous. Nice bit of texture. Um, someone is asking, you might know the answer. I, there's no you might know the answer about it, Leanne. You know, you are the, the plethora, the fountain of all knowledge when it comes to uh, uh, crafting. Uh, Martha says, I see uh, you've got the gilding wax on the show today. A couple of hers have started to dry up a little bit. Is there anything she can do to refresh them? So, uh, which which gilding waxes has she got and which the, gilding waxes have we got on the show? It's the Pebio gilding waxes that the, she's got. The same the ones Pebeo, we have on the... the same. So, Pebio gilding waxes never dry up. Okay. Um, so I'm just wondering... Do you think she might have left them somewhere a bit more? Maybe you might have left them somewhere a little bit dry. Um, what you could do, if you've got some white spirit, 
in the house you could put a tiny little drop of white spirit in there and that will help to re-moisten for you just okay. make sure you're tightening your lid up it's i mean i've got a jar of gilding wax from pebio that i've had for 10 years mm -hmm. and it's i've still got it it hasn't dried out i guess if it so, was stored what maybe above a radiator or the maybe, lid hadn't been on well, properly it, it or something like that. really make a difference so i think maybe the lid's been left off completely rather than not even tightened okay. so maybe that's the case but maybe just drop a little bit of white spirit in there and you should be okay Okay, don't top um, tip. Right now, so what I've done is emboss my two forty, my forty there. So I've done those that lovely wave embossing folder that we get in that bundle, and then here I've got two. You can see two lovely mats and layers and floral paper. I used my stencils again for that, so I had a big piece of patterned paper, and I just grabbed a piece from down here. Won't be the correct pattern, but you'll get the idea. So a piece of patterned paper. And then just take your stencils again, here's my four and my zero, and your pen. And then because I did my card using this second line in, actually I want to get a plain piece so you can see it. That's going to confuse matters. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I want you to be able to see exactly what I'm doing. So grabbing a piece of card, here we are. Imagine this is a patterned piece of cardstock because I don't want to confuse you. That's so much better. Look, when I did the card face, remember... I used the second line in or the first space in not the outside of the template to create that card base so I used this first step in on the template so to create my mat and layer what I'm doing with my patterned piece of paper is I'm using the second line in so what I did I'm just lining that up so you can see where I had it there we go so on my patterned piece of paper I would have traced this second line in on the template and then cut round it with my scissors which gives me when I use that in conjunction with the card where I used the first one the perfect matte and layer which fits the die cut perfectly so we can layer those all up to get that lovely dimension to make that card so that's how we use the stencil and the die together. And I'm going to start gluing this up now, Joe. Uh, wonderful. Loads of you tuning in uh, and commenting along. Uh, Sonia on YouTube says, Leanne is the wisest teacher. Isn't she uh, oh. just? Uh, a lot of people saying white spirit question mark. That, is there another name for well, that in the US? Shall I have a look? White spirit would be like rubbing alcohol. Rubbing isopropyl, alcohol. Isopropylol. Or do you know what? You can use your... If you've got, if your husband's been doing some decorating, or in fact, if you haven't, mind your husband. Anybody's been doing some decorating. <laughs> it's the husband in my house. Um, it would be turpentine. Uh, or mineral spirit, Or mineral maybe. spirit, yes. Cool, okay, in fact, there you are. actually, if you watched our colour blend show the other week and you've got your blending solution. Oh, yes. You could put a little drop of that in. Mmm, great tip. There also, yeah, it's a good point maybe to look ahead because on Friday, Leanne, we are together again, aren't we, for Colour Me Happy here on Crafters TV. 11am in the UK, 6am on the East Coast. And it's a really special one this week, isn't it? I am so excited because we're going to be doing our illustrator markers. And I did a little warm-up, a little taster, a little tester on Sunday from home on my own Facebook page with our illustrator markers just to... Uh, get some questions from you all for you to tell me what it is you want to see and learn and know about Illustrator. I've had loads and loads of responses from you and you are all so incredibly interested in them. So we've got a full two hour masterclass with the illustrator on fr on friday and i'm ridiculously excited about that joe i really How am fabulous yeah make sure you join us uh, for that uh, you can always set a reminder as well if you're watching us on facebook there's a little a uh, little bell you can hit at the bottom which reminds you sends you an alert every time we're on you'll get a notification that way also as well if you've got any um you know any crafty friends that you think might also enjoy uh, our broadcast then you can share the facebook live as well on to your feed so uh, all of your friends will see it as well um well someone called it else someone else is calling the white spirit terps uh, oh tammy's joined us uh, she says oops slept through the alarm good morning from san diego well it is 24 minutes past three in the morning so i think we'll let you off for you know being 25 minutes late tammy i think that's more than okay i'm um, getting very very busy again for the numbers now when leanne finishes demonstration i'll run you back through everything that we have 
So I've just assembled, I've done all of my little mats and layers. I used the templates that come in with the numbers to cut those mats and layers. I used the actual dies to cut the four and the zero. We've embossed them with that fabulous wave embossing folder so you get that beautiful texture on there as well. I've actually made a foam flower and then inked it up with the same colour ink as I did for the numbers. You, and you've all been buying our foam flowers in your droves, haven't you? And then I've used, you know, those fabulous little um, sentiment dies we've got on the show there, Jo, with the anniversary, with the little mats and lays. I've used one of those and I've used the anniversary word with the same colour mat as my card base and then I've cut the word anniversary on some white card and used the same colour ink as I used to do the little distressing around my number to colour that word anniversary and then I'm just going to pop that underneath the flower there and so then we've made a beautiful shaped card for a 40th anniversary just using those amazing um, numbers and stencil packs that you get there and then cutting that shaped card out and doing a little bit of embossing and inking as well. Oh, absolutely fabulous. It really is wonderful. And that is really, isn't it, just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what you're able to create with these. So many of you are sending pictures into us, which we love uh, receiving. You can remember you can do that by emailing studio at, uh, at craftscompanion.co.uk. Uh, let me just show you some of those pictures that have been coming in. This is Christine. I think this is, tr cause this is Christine in upstate New York, I believe. Uh, these look gorgeous, don't they, Leanne? Look at those. Oh, my word. Look at those absolutely fabulous i adore them and they work with so many other products as well joe yeah they do uh christine's used them also with the pop out uh sentiments that we bring to you as well so great for sort of reinvigorating some of your other crafty stash uh, allison's been in touch as well with this gorge now that is lovely i love how modern and uh, modern that one is just with those little dyes and little elements but very simple but very effective leanne isn't it i love that and do you know what that really does it, you're just letting the number speak for itself there aren't you and and that's on our lovely, um, I believe that's our lovely matte mirror card on there, which looks mm, gorgeous. Does um, it? Yeah, I love that. Uh, the next one is from Chucka Babe. I've done, I'm not. I, I think that might be your username, but <laughs> that's the only name I have. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. Um, and that's a wonderful, a happy birthday. That's for that pop out sentiment. Uh, and then you've got your uh, numbers in there as well. I remember the great thing is, I think with this collection, you're really going to want to make sure you've got the whole collection because that is going to enable you uh, to create uh, all of your different projects that you want. Now, remember, very low in the stocks uh, on five, was it five, six, seven, and eight? If you're going for individuals on those numbers, five, six, seven, and eight are all very, very individual. The only way to get the zero is to go for it in this main collection, which is fantastic. So, and when you do that, 47.94 is your price blast price. It's the last day for this. I can't believe I only came up with that sound effect yesterday, the day before the event end. Price blast basically was, um, Sarah and I sat down with the team and uh, including Leanne and everyone, we looked at all the deals that were coming up that were all meant to be on this fantastic deals. And we said, we want to, blast a bit more off how much can we take off how low can we get these prices and this is what we came to that's why some of the prices this week have been a bit obscure whereas we'd normally round them up or down we're taking them to the percentage uh or the decimal point of a percentage to get you the lowest price we can so a lot of the product that you're seeing on air will be the lowest price uh, you've ever seen it maybe uh the lowest price you're going to see it let me take you through a few of the concepts that you're able to make with these because it is quite amazing that for such a uh, you know for for relative small investment you're going to get something that's so versatile and you we all know as well that you know personalization adds pennies if you're making to sell these are going to be fantastic so you've got a shaker card there using it just with the numbers you've also got a shaker card here uh, with it cut in using the shaker which is another way to use it 16 but using the um the card base as overlaid back over the top of the card uh, is another great way of course going to be great for all of those big number birthdays so things like uh, 90 uh, it's going to be fantastic for that uh, but also great for the more obscure ones like i don't know 24 or 33 or 52 or something uh, like that really great here as well 100 uh, there's this one here, but this could be uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. It's completely up to you. You've got complete personalization. Or how about the idea of giving two separate cards 
uh, so giving a three and a two separately. That's another thing you can do, or you can just use the individual numbers. Uh, we've got another shaker here as well, which is fantastic. I love this idea. So this has been done sort of over the edge, but imagine if that was your glitter fabric or your mirror or your matte mirror, or maybe matte mirror on the top with mirror behind in the same color. It's gonna look gorgeous. Uh, you can really uh, go to town with the layers here, multi-layer this up again, get those mats and layers in there. Uh, or what you can do, love this one, or you can do the gatefold, which is just fantastic. So, uh, and this would be uh, really great uh, for maybe a milestone birthdays. There's something like a picture inside or some baby pictures in there. Loads that you can do. If you were to even maybe do scrapbooks that have got uh, loose bits there as well. Uh, I'm just hearing that 10% of the whole stock of these uh, has sold out and gone. 47.94, 77.70. If you're in the US, you're saving over 40%. Remember, if you want the zero, you can only get it in the collection. Five, six, seven, eight. My root and tootin. Uh, they're also uh, very busy as well. Now, uh, the essential collection. Uh, this is them here. It's the Gemini Expressions. I'm going to run through what you get because I, I appreciate it's not the easiest to see there in that picture. You will get grandma, granddad, auntie, father, step, uncle, nephew, great cousin, wife, mum, our nana, niece, sister, dad, friend, brother, son, silver, golden, anniversary, celebrate, number one world's best on your punctuation belated and with love so that is going to be enough there for you to get going and create some uh, really great customized um, sentiments there as well you get the die that cuts the word you also get the matte die uh, the matte die? Yeah, that would make sense. Uh, you get the matte die in there too. 24, 38, you're saving more than you're spending there. 36, 87 uh, is your price there as well. Uh, now the fancy fonts, uh, very, very busy on these. 12 in this collection, always busy when we bring them to you. Saving 30% today. Remember you can use all the discounts to bring it here on Crafters TV. You can use that in conjunction with your Club Inspire discount. Uh, also, uh, if you want to go for them individually, you can. Uh, thanks for everything and uh, Deep Sympathy are the two uh, most popular ones uh, if you are going for them individually. Um, and saying uh, these will be good for teachers or even parents of all the homeschooling going on these days. Absolutely, uh, they would. Loads of you still saying hi from all over uh, the place there. Um, oh, it wasn't Christine from upstate New York. I am sorry, it was another Christine. How dare I get them confused? Oh, just ahead up before we go back to Leanne, the sequins, uh, your silver is the favourite here. Remember you've got 50 grams uh, in each of these which is fantastic. Uh, they're on a great price as well, uh, 269 or 355 I can see pretty much all of you multi-ordering and going for all of those. If you want to watch the shop at the same time, really easy to do so, craftscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu. Uh, keep giving me any questions that you've got. Remember it is a masterclass, it's all about us learning together. Facebook is where you want to get those questions into on the live feed over on Crafters TV. Right, I know that um, Leanne's chomping at the bit. She's got so much she wants to show you, so I better hand you back. Do you know, I'm, I'm standing here now, my mind is buzzing because of that idea for teachers and for parents homeschooling. Imagine cutting out a whole pile of these numbers and using them to teach children how numbers are made up from 100 to 1,000 and bigger and being able to line them all up and have them rearrange the numbers themselves. Imagine doing a game of snap with them, doing them all in different colours, the numbers and having a pile and being able to put them down and snapping them when they get the match of the number and then learning what the number is. I am having loads of ideas and I hadn't even thought of that. That is a fantastic idea. Oh my word, we've got more ideas coming in. Times tables, addition, minus, multiplication. Oh my word, it is a fantastic teaching aid. So if you are a mum or a carer or just somebody responsible for little people at home and you're wanting to do something, this will be amazing because you can make all of those is and it's interactive and actually they can help you make them first and then do the learning afterwards. Fabulous, I love that idea. So now the, what we're going to have a look at actually Joe, is something very similar there we go very similar to that card that you loved with the number three that was cut off the edge I haven't cut this one off the edge I have cut it in the center but it's an example of where you want to think about getting your two fizz in place Joe, which is 
the matting layer can be used on another project and then the number on a different project. Does that make sense? Absolutely. So that's exactly what happened with this. I just made sure with that decorative paper, I positioned my number one and I got a second card when I used the number one on a se separate card, if that makes sense. So we're going to have a look at how to do that and how to position it. So first things first, I've got my little half fold card already and I've just used some of our amazing luxury card stock, which I know you've all got. And I've done a little pink matte and layer on there so that looks gorgeous to start I've then cut another piece oh put my hearts the right way up another piece of decorative paper there just a piece of backing paper I had out of my stash could be anything you like and then with one of our aqua markers the fine tip on an aqua marker I've picked a purple that matches and I've just drawn a random square line around the outside I quite like a random square drawn hand drawn border so that's what I've done to get that all ready now we're just going to position this number and cut it out and it doesn't matter where you put it it could be off the side if you want to Joe could be in the center if you wanted could be to the left to the right doesn't really matter so I'm just positioning where I would want it and actually I'm going to do that onto my Gemini plate so positioning that on there you can hold it still with some repositionable tape if you want to but if you're quite confident that you can do that without it slipping you can just line up your plates and then take it and pop it through your machine uh, Carol's asking with these cut through matte board I'm not I'm not familiar with matte board mount board I mount think, board, I is think it? Carol means mount board um, these are not the same as the one and a half millimeter dies that we've got where it would cut the thick mount board but it will cut thicker cardstock and actually okay. what I do like to do with these is cut it on thicker cardstock but cut four or five and then with a wet glue glue them all together on top of each other and you get a nice big dimensional number or letter um, so yes you can do that but they wouldn't I don't think they would actually go through the mount board the same as our mixed media and multimedia and fabric dies do because these are a little thicker than a thin die to go through two layers of centura pearl to get you a shape if you want to but they're not as thick as the mixed media dies I do helps. love as well the idea of maybe doing something like bunting with these yes. you know, like for a birthday party yes. you could just do lots of the numbers in all different colors and just have lovely sort of party bunting with them absolutely that would that would be just glorious that would be mm. fabulous really good so you see I've cut out my number one there so I the die came out my number one comes out this is now a number one for another card that I might be making and this essentially would be the waste I don't want to waste it so what I'm going to do now is just wrap a little piece of ribbon around it so I won't use my tape pen to do that so it's quick and it's easy where oh there it is little tape pen they get up and run away don't they they do get up and run away usually into somebody else's hands because they're such good tape pens um, but yes they do disappear so I'm just wrapping a little piece of ribbon round there just to add a little bit of extra interest there we go and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give a little bit of depth to this so I want to raise it up a little bit I don't want it to be completely flat because I want there to be a shadow shining through so you can see the glitter underneath so it doesn't look like it's the same card so I'm just going to use a little um, bit of this fab 3d foam now you can line it up all around the outside voila if you want to or you could just use big foam pads and I've got a piece here already where you can see I've used big foam pads just so you don't have to watch me do that because it could be incredibly tedious so I'm going to take all of these backings off now you see when I'm using a piece of paper jaw um, to do this raised technique with how I've gone more than round the outside I've supported the little pieces of card in the center there so that they don't get pushed in or flop um, so we don't want a floppy matte and layer on our card do we do not, so no. do make sure you cover that if you've done this from cardstock this layer here where you've cut it in you would not need to do that you would just be able to go all around the outside as I was doing here that would be enough because the cardstock would have enough of its own support but when you're doing it with paper do make sure you fill those in there go that's going to then get stuck onto my little glittered card base which is fab and then you know those fabulous little balloon dies that we had on the other week Jen, oh, yeah. or you and I I've used those so if you have got those you can use them and you can create yourself a little balloon bundle and then I've used one of those fabulous little words again that you were showing everybody with a little matte and layer. Gorgeous. Cut it out from glitter card, which matches the glitter card here. So here I'm making a lovely little card for my niece who is one. Oh, um, gorgeous. And then we're going to just uh, 
put some 3D glue gel on here because I want the balloons to look as though they are flying. Uh, Christine is saying, love these cards you're making, Leanne. Guess Thanks. who got a huge box of HSN stuff last night? But hasn't Ooh. opened it uh, yet. Yes, me. Uh, she's going to be getting it. Um, she's going to be opening it after this show. Make sure you send us some pictures in the later show. I'll be up again uh, with Debbie, what am I like, Robinson, at 4 o'clock uh, here in the UK, uh, which will be 11 a.m. Uh, for you guys on the East Coast with Creative Cravings. And then don't forget as well, any of you guys that are in the U.S., uh, we won't be here on Crafters TV. We'll be over on the Crafters, uh, the US Crafters companion page uh, later tonight with that warehouse clearance. A lot of it's gone. I do, I might have heard a little bit of a rumour though, Leanne. Yeah. Now, so much of the stuff has gone. I yeah. do believe they are adding more <gasps> stuff this afternoon. Oh. And also, because the uh, free shipping to the US is only $30 or more, it means that you could go back maybe and get the bits they add. I'll let you know uh, on my Facebook page when that happens. Um, so there you go, you see, all finished now. That sounds exciting. I'm, I'm going to tune into that warehouse sale tonight. I'm going to be sat at home with a little ginger. I'm afraid, though, even you... Won't be allowed it. Won't be allowed to buy anything, I'm afraid, Leanne. How I are know, you I know. Uh, it is just our US customers, I'm afraid. Rude. Even people with a special dispensation like yourself. Sorry. Do they, excuse me, uh, Joe, hello. Do they know who I am, Joe? <laughs> Look, I'm doing my little teapot Girlfriend. and everything. <laughs> Do they know who I am? Um, yeah. Never mind. I'll just watch and join in and celebrate and be happy for all of you in the USA. I'll have a gin and I'll watch for the entertainment and the demonstrations. Just for the laughs and giggles. It'll be fun. It's nice to get everybody there, isn't it? Now, I've just decided, Joe, because I'm making these cards, looking at, because I had one already to show you. I'm thinking it might be nice um, if you all just get, you know, sharing your comments, share your pictures, show us what you've done with your numbers, tell us how much you love them. For anybody who shares a picture of something that they've done with these numbers, we'll go through through me and you, Joe, after this show, and mm -hmm. we'll choose a couple of winners and we'll send them out a card. Should we do that? Sounds fabulous. Let's do that. Okay, so get commenting and get sharing your pictures of what you've done with these fabulous dyes and stencils. That's all finished now. You see, I've just used a couple of little embellishments. The, the balloon dies that we had on the other week. I've got the little sentiment in there. Some, some glitter card we've all got now stash. And then I've kept the number one that I've cut out, which I've moved into a safe place, and I don't know where that is, to use on another card. Uh, number one was um, uh, a uh, winning Eurovision song for Greece uh, back in the uh, early ah. noughties. Uh, uh, people over in the US no idea what Eurovision is, and I imagine the concept. In fact, you know what I might do? I might share a video on my Facebook some point this week of people in America reacting to Eurovision, having seen it for the first time. Uh, if you're in the UK, do you know what? If you're in the UK watching us now and you're over on Facebook, try and explain uh, Eurovision to our um, American uh, audience and viewers, we would love to uh, hear what those explanations are because it was Eurovision week this week. I should really be in uh, the Netherlands now, uh, but I'm here with you. Um, so if you want to go for these, a uh, very, very busy 4794 7770, 40% uh, off is what you're looking at. Remember, if you want the zero, the only way to get that is in the um, main collection. If you want uh, five, six, seven, or eight, they are also very, very low in stock. So if you were thinking about getting those individually, uh, then I would definitely uh, grab those and be quick about it. Now, something else that's very busy are fancy fonts. Uh, whenever we bring these to you, you've got, you guys absolutely love them. They are uh, a die cut element, which is this element here in the middle, which is fantastic. And then all of the stamps around it to enable you to customize uh, your own sentiment. So it means that you can uh, get the most out of that die set, which is fantastic. So in here, your options are thanks. Uh, you've got birthday, there's celebrate, uh, you've got sympathy, happy, sorry, uh, smile. So for instance, with smile, you'll get I love your, um, you are never fully dressed without a, is it, is it, um, is it's word? A uh, smile is its work. Oh, I see. Uh, lights up my world is another one there. So you've got all of the stamps which will go with and complement those sentiments beautifully. Thinking, which is a lovely one, special. Uh, we've got family there as well, friend. Uh, and then thanks. I think thanks was it thanks where I started. Birthday, celebrate. There's 12 in total. Sympathy, happy. Sorry, am I going around again? I am, aren't I? <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, you get 12 of them. You'll get all 12 of them, no matter how many times they go round. Uh, 50 pounds or 60 dollars to get all of them. Uh, 30% saving there. Now, I think probably the biggest saving on the show are these expression dies, and you guys are loving them. 24, 38, or 36, 87 to get pretty much every kind of um, essential word that you're going to need. And it's all about all the people in your life. So uh, you've got things like, for instance, nephew, cousin, wife, mum, niece, uh, dad, friend, brother. Uh, so complete customization for that tiny, tiny price. Uh, you are saving more than you're spending. You've also got a price blast on there uh, as well now remember loads of you are commenting away at the moment we absolutely love it when you do that whether it's with us on Facebook uh, or whether you're doing that over on YouTube we're monitoring the comments there as well but if you want to watch and shop at the same time uh, then here is how hi I'm Joe from crafters TV and I'm here to show you how you can grab the best deals and shop whilst you watch during our shows so the best way to watch us is always on crafters TV Head on over to our homepage and go to Crafters TV. You can see all of our shows, offers, and even shop while you watch. Now, if you want to get involved and comment along, head over to our Facebook page. Come say hello, ask us some questions, and lol with us. Or you can watch us on YouTube. Simply head to our Crafters Companion YouTube channel. Got a smart TV? You can even airplay directly onto your big screen. We're constantly adding new and exciting shows to our schedule, so don't forget to check in. It's never been easier to have us in your living room. It's always fun here at Crafters TV, so come join us as we create every day. Uh, all the details there of how you can watch and shop at the same time. Uh, don't forget as well, if you want to watch anything back at any point, you can always do that over on our website, craftscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu, which is uh, where you're going to watch and shop as, at the same time uh, as well. This is Masterclass, so this is all about us learning together. You're getting loads of hints and tips and inspiration about products that you already have, because I know so many of you have got the numbers. Uh, lots of you are sending us loads of pictures, which we love you can do that uh, by emailing studio at craftscompanion.co.uk but very very technique heavy as well so i know leanne's got there's a there's a big box of uh, a possible demonstration that leanne is going to work her way through if you've got these numbers already and you love them please let me know in the comments what your favorite technique is with them but for now i'm going to hand you back to leanne who doesn't love a shaker card i adore them and do you know what they're brilliant for uh, younger people as well because it's something kinetic that they can really experience and love and, and any young person I've given a shaker card to has never put their card down on their mantelpiece it's just gone round with their hand and they've been shaking the life out of it so let's have a look at how you can use these amazing stencils and dies to create a glorious shaker card and of course it's using our fabulous sequins as well which are just beautiful I love the fact Joe that each of the packets have a variety of shapes in that they're not just all standard in there and you get a goodly amount in those bags so first things first i've got my half fold card already which is a six inch half fold ready for my shaker card so that's ready and i've also got a little uh, black glitter card matte and layer oh my word if you haven't had our black card get it <laughs> Just get it. <laughs> Don't even think about it. Just get it. Put it in your craft stash when you're feeling sad. Get it out. Look at it and stroke it. And everything in your world will be right again. Because it is absolutely <laughs> glorious. Really. I mean, that's how much I feel. That's how I feel about my black litter card. And then I've got another piece of white card here. And we're going to draw around that to get the correct aperture for our shaking. Now, what I just want to show you is this just looks like now this is the correct stencil for a number two but look you could be forgiven for going oh well which where do i well i don't know so to help you with that to find out which side you need to be drawing on to get the number in the correct place take your number pop it on so you can read it so you're popping it cutting side down then take your stencil and try it so you see that that's not quite lining up right you see how that's coming in so i know i've got my stencil on back to front there so if i do that and it just fits around 
perfectly with your number. Now I know that I can get that all positioned. That's how my shaker is going to be. Just keep my hand on my stencil, pick my number out, and now I can go and draw around it and I know that my aperture is going to be the perfect shape and position for the number. I hope that makes sense to everybody. So what I'm going to do is now just exactly as we did before, I'm just going around my stencil with a pen or a pencil. I'm using a pen so the lines are nice and bold for you to be able to see. And you see, all I do is trace round the same depth. So I'm using the first step in there and I'm just going all the way around with my pen to get me the correct shape I need. So that's how I'm using my stencil. Then what I did was, I'm moving that to one side so I can show you the next piece. Then what I did was take my number two, put it back where I started when I found the correct position for my stencil and then run it through and cut it out the number two. And then kept that number two, the waste piece, for another card. Now, you might be asking, why on earth have you done that, Leanne? You could have just cut round that outside shape to get the aperture for my shaker, which, yes, I could have done. However, by cutting that number two out in the middle, what it does do, I'm looking for my craft knife, which I had, look, I'm using the universal language for, I had my craft knife here before, and now I can't, there it is, found it. Um, it, it makes it easier for you when you are by eye, Cutting bye round eye. the two by eye, Sue Smith, <laughs> cutting round the outside of the number two. Now, um, what I'm cutting out with this, I want you want a nice sharp blade, and it just helps you because actually what I'm doing is I'm looking at this curve but following the pencil line around, which allows me to be so much more precise with my cutting, and it means that you can it's just easier, Joe. Just, you know, it's one of those things I'm going to say, do as I say. <laughs> just trust me and do it and you'll understand why. Fabulous. Because you are, it's, I suppose it's like driving the car. When you're driving the car, you're looking at the road and you're not, you're not sitting staring at the steering wheel to see where you're going to turn the wheel to go on the road. You're watching the road and your hands follow your eyes. Does that make sense? Yeah. It's a little bit similar here in that I'm looking at that curve of that number two and my hand is following along the correct line with my craft knife for me to cut this aperture out. So oh. it really does help enormously um, to follow that line by cutting the number two out in the middle. Anne's asking, is there any kind of secret to stop the sequins getting staticky and sticking to the acetate? There is a secret, Ooh. and it's talcum powder. Oh, wow. Okay. Or, um, it's tal so there's a few different things. I'm going to move that to one side, and we're going to bring this in. We'll talk about that in a sec. Right, so you can use talcum powder. You can use corn flour. You can use an anti-static bag. Or if you use the tumble dryer sheets in your tumble dryer, take one of those tumble dryer sheets that has already been tumble dried, Give the acetate a wipe over with that. Um, and actually, I put that in the bag of sequins and give them a shake. And then it kind of just soaks up all the static and stops them all sticking together. There you go. How wonderful. I love it when you ask questions like that, because sometimes I forget to tell you these things. And then you ask the question, I think, oh, yes, that would be a wonderful thing to tell you. So I'm going to start matting and layering this up now, Joe. And I'm going to use my tape pen, which I've put E, Joe. What's going on with me? Here it is. I put it somewhere safe. I found it. So I'm going to use my tape pen. I'm going to put my glitter uh, cardstock directly onto my half fold. Notice I checked if I had it the right way up there. I'm, I'm great at making Australian cards. <laughs> um, regularly. See, I went Australian to Australia, card. and the cards are the same way that they are here. So I think that might have been, you know, just rumour all these years. Didn't say they were making. Oh. I feel like that may have been excuse. Maybe. Uh, do you have to point it out, Joe? I mean, talk about. <laughs> Talk about showing people up. Um, <laughs> keep that to yourself. It's what I. It's what. It's just my excuse so I don't get into trouble. Um, right. So I've got my piece of acetate, and I'm putting a row of my tape pen around my, the edge, all four edges of my acetate here. Now you can use your red liner tape for this. If you've got Crafters Companion tape pens, you can use a Crafters Companion tape pen. I would not use a wet glue for that. Um, you can, you can use tacky glue, but it'll take a while to dry. And if you want to just get on with making your shaker card, use your tape pen or your red liner tape. I'm then sticking that to the back 
of the piece I prepared where I went around with my craft knife and cut it out. And you can see additionally what I've done. So I've just done a little bit of inking around there uh, with my Harmony Water Reactive. And then I've gone around with a little fine line, one of our fine line pens um, from the Spectrum range. And I've just done some dotting and dashing around the outside in one of those wonky little lines. So dead easy to do. I've then got this now. This is going to be the front of my shaker. And this is where it needs to start... Um, being careful and paying attention to okay, get okay. the shaker to work together. That's, they're the words I was looking for. So I'm going to, first of all, get my number two in the right position on the base of my card. So I'm going to get my tape pen and pop the tape pen on. And again, a wet glue, actually, for sticking onto glitter card, unless you've got a crafter's companion tape pen. And then I'm not going to commit that straight away because I'm going to have this in place hinge it, bring that underneath so I can see where I want it to go, so I can get it in place. When I'm happy, pop it down, and then this can come away. And that's Fabulous. how I get that number two in the correct place for when I line up my top shaker, it's in the centre, but it's underneath the acetate window. Okay, so that's how that is working. And I just cut the number two out on a piece of that glorious cardstock by lining up the number two and whizzing it through my machine. Okay. So now what we're going to do is line this ready for our sequence. And this is where you need your foam on a roll tape. Now what I like to do, and there's a couple of different ways of doing it, depending on how generous you are with your sequin, you can, if you want, just do straight lines all the way around. However, a number of the sequins will fall out of eye shot and then you can't see them. So what I like to try and do is to follow this around with my foam on a roll. And actually, this thin foam on a roll is bendy. Yeah, so if you just... And you see, what I'm doing is I'm doing it from the roll. I'm doing a little bit at a time. And you can see how I'm going round there. And I'm just being quite, quite firm with it. Sorry, bring that back so you can see it. Being quite firm. And I'm going round in one continuous piece. This is also important if you're doing shakers with glitter, not sequins. Because what you need is one solid wall, if you like, to stop the glitter falling through the wall into the rest of your card. Because then you end up with, you get to where whoever you were giving the card for, and you've got an empty shaker. Because you didn't do it in a solid piece, and the glitter all fell out the little holes that you had around the outside. Um, if that makes sense for you all. Absolute sense, it really Just, does. How easy was that? It was very easy, wasn't it? And then what I do is, because I've got that depth there, and I just want the extra depth at the side so that my card doesn't collapse on itself, I just go at the left and right with one more line, and then that creates a lovely, deep, supported panel, which is going to allow our shaky bits to shake and the card not to collapse. You always want your shaky bits to shake, don't you? You always want your shaky bits to shake. Who can remember Shaken Stevens and his green door? His green dog? Door. Oh. Green dog. <laughs> and the green, green, seen dog. green dog. His green dog. Oh, but mind you, probably weren't born, did he, Joe. Did he spray it? <laughs> <laughs> he spray his dog. Well, what happened? Just... Why was his green door so well documented? Did you, do you not know the song by Shaken Stevens, Green Door? No. Oh my word. Is Blue Suede Shoes? Is that, no, that's Elvis, isn't it? That was Elvis. Right. How, oh my word. When were you born, Joe? 86. That's why. It was 83. He, it was in 83. He Something is 83. Like no, no. Well, he probably is 83 now. Um, <laughs> but, the, but the song, Green Door, was out around about 81, 83, something like right, that. Well, you could was... maybe do a, you could do a 1983 or a 1981 card if you wanted to, couldn't oh. you? Or a wall plaque. You and absolutely And maybe put some could. pictures underneath it from yes. the year. Maybe you want to do some photo frames with all of your photos from different yes. years in. So you could actually make, pla make plaques to go in the frame. Oh, or, I love or that idea. To get above them. Yeah, you could absolutely do that. I really like that idea. Um, that was a really good save to stop me feeling ancient. Thank you, Joe. I really appreciate it. That's how generous you are. 
Right, now then, what we're going to do is tip our sequins, trying to get them out of this bag without spilling them all over, because I just know it's going to happen. Um, <laughs> where are they? Let's just see if we can get, let's just see if they'll come out. What I'm going to do, now I've noticed a few are of you. Are you going to talk to them? Um, I am going to call, come on out, sequins. Fabulous. Come on, little sequins, you come out. Now, what I've noticed some people do sometimes is tip the sequins in here, yeah. and then try and... Right. And it just doesn't, it all goes completely peak tongue at that point. Um, <laughs> I've just got that the wrong way around. Oh, I've seen them on here and then whoosh, it, uh, pff, don't make life difficult for yourself. Just put them in a little pile in the middle. Okay. So, and then if you get any little rogue, rogue sequins who are trying to escape, just give them all a little, get back where you belong, get back where you belong there in the middle. And then we simply take this panel that we've done now where we've took it all off, uh, all of the backing tape on our foam pieces, and then we plop that down and then just follow around with our fingers to make sure that that foam makes a nice seal around the edges. There we go. Makes a nice seal. And then what you've got is, look, a shaky shaker. And you don't lose your sequins outside the shape of the number two they oh, all just fabulous. pull here so they're not falling under the white card here and it's not looking like you haven't got a very full shaker now did you see what i'm doing because i had a good pile there i had a little some that didn't want to move there and i just give them a, a bit of an encouragement and now they're shaking all over like shaking stevens and his green door and then i've got that lovely little happy birthday black glitter sentiment cut out from the same as i put on the um matter there below and then you can see Two little shaker cards will stick that one down and that's how easy it is with your numbers and stencils to get that beautiful shaker going on christine says her shaky bits shaking if she doesn't want them to <laughs> <laughs> fair enough, well, we'll uh, fair enough. <laughs> uh, there's a lot of chatter in the comments on facebook uh, and i'm sure there are on youtube as well about the uh, warehouse clearance and why it isn't available uh, to the uk we would love to be able to send the uh, to the uk uh, the warehouse is not closing uh, in california uh, we've got a warehouse here in the uk which we send all of our orders out of globally and then we have another warehouse in the us which uh, predominantly uh, sends product out on behalf of HSN and some of our other retail partners. So what we have is some surplus of stock in that warehouse, which is why we're only sending it uh, to our US uh, mainland, even US viewers as well. So that's why we would love to, and maybe in the future, we'll look at doing a UK only uh, warehouse sale from our UK warehouse. I don't know, uh, but this evening's one it is to the US, and that is the reason why uh, we're not just being awkward or anything like that. Although I, ca I personally can be awkward awkward but as a company we always want to give you as much as we possibly can but that is the reasons why now lots of you sending loads of pictures into us as well uh wendy here has sent us a beautiful 70th birthday card that she's done just here uh oh uh, kirsten sent us in hello my neighbor uh does that mean my love it does yeah i love you it's ich liebe dich. Ich liebe i remember dich. that um another one here from lakitha as well a beautiful oh look that's a bit of a batman inspired oh. one there oh how fab is that i love that really that really gorgeous and it just shows you really so much that you can do with them how um different all of these pictures are helen sent us in uh, a picture as well this one again very different i love that's one of our um geometric stencils is that one of our layering stencils i think that's been used on there really is beautiful and those balloons are gorgeous too uh that one is really really lovely remember if you want to grab these a great day to do it today uh our price blast event uh 47.94 or 77.70 uh, to get all of these it's our last day of our price blast uh, event where we're blasting these prices as low as we possibly can uh, taking every little bit of discount off uh, that we can if you want to keep getting your pictures in you can do that studio at craftscompanion.co.uk uh, but to get all of the um, numbers I need to let you know a quarter of the stock of the numbers uh, as a bundle has completely sold out if you want zero I think as well with a lot of collections it's fine just to cherry pick or just have a little bit of it or maybe get half of a collection with something like these there's only 10 items in the collection so I think it's important that you have all of them just by the nature of them as well so if you want to get the zero the only way to get that is in the large collection uh five six seven eight 
um, are also um, only, uh, they are very low if you get them uh, individually. So you need to be quick for the individuals there. 47.94, gets you all of them. We've got some great embossing folders on the show for you as well. Uh, here they are. So in here, you're going to get uh, four folders, uh, and that is made up by, um, you've got the decorative lace, Rick Rack, geometric florals, and ocean waves there as well. So do grab those whilst we have them. 14 or 16.84 it's a price blast price it's great value anything sort of less than five pounds per uh, embossing folder is absolutely fantastic in fact leanne have you got a few samples you'd like to whiz us through of those Ooh, embossing folders? can i yeah, yeah please. please because i do love these embossing folders joe there and do you know what you've got a nice range of patterns in here i think um, and you can get that beautiful, can you see that beautiful subtle floral in the background there? Um, and then here, look, we've embossed the bottom here and then we've cut round the emboss to make that beautiful grass for the florals at the bottom. And then we've used it, the same one, the same beautiful floral that we've got here, we've used the same one and we've just cut four strips and then made a little frame with it. Or we've just done it in three panels and used some of that, oh, upside down, some of that fabulous gilding wax that we've got for you. Here you can see we've just done a beautiful textured panel with our rainbows, very topical at the moment. Here that wave that I used on my 40th card before is creating that lovely sea wave texture in the background on the blue card there. You can see it more here on this little portal, look that. Now that, don't think of that as just a wave, that's just a beautiful, I mean of course it looks like waves, but it's just a beautiful, look, just a beautiful texture that can be used with lots and lots of different projects. And I mean, it looked amazing when I embossed it on my number 40 earlier. And we got that beautiful, just wavy texture to that, making textured cardstock. So don't think about the pattern that's on it, just think about how else you might use it. The chevrons in the background on the mirror card there are fabulous. The same on that amazing Centura card there. Here, embossed and then inked up honestly this collection for this one folder the chevron folder is worth the value for me because it really is a beautiful deep gorgeous geometric pattern you can see there and all, look all of the different styles of cards and different techniques just in that little pile that i've took you through there shows you how versatile these little folders are and how different each one of the projects could be they're just going to be a really nice stash builder stash extender so you've got a, you know a good range a of go to stash extender stash extender that's new maybe we could get a new maybe we need to get a new uh, a new you know bit of the show where we bring you the stash extender. Ooh. I hear we're tall in our stash extenders. Yes. Uh, it does sound like a stash window, I always think. I always get stash and sash confused uh, a lot. Don't You can't make windows out of your craft stash. I'm, I'm sure you could make your windows very pretty uh, using uh, your craft stash. It is very, very busy. I want to just show you again. I know a lot of those um, samples that Leanne had there with the embossing folders had used the fancy fonts as well. I've got a few more samples here as well of those fonts. So can you see here how these have been used? You've got that one there which is birthday, which is gorgeous. I love this as well, because look how simple that is as a card. You've got that beautiful balloon there as an aperture, birthday, and then just wishes in the corner. Really, really gorgeous card, that one. We've also got this one here, which is sorry. And this one says, sorry for your loss. Uh, we've got that one there with one of our frames and then happy love the colorways I love how um, You can get a very different look and feel by how you use this So in a black there over the top of our blue looks very different to how that's been done with the colored cardstock uh, Creating that drop shadow so you really are this is about you getting the most amount of craftability from these and that's why I think you can really tell that all of our products here at crafters companion are made by crafters for crafters uh, Let me just show you the options that you've got remember you're going to get those tailored stamps on every single one of these different collections uh, you've got special uh, family here uh, to name a few 50 pound gets you all 12 so the die cut elements this element in the middle and then all of your corresponding stamps go around the outside there as well 50 pounds gets you all 12 which is amazing value or 60 dollars if you are in the u.s saving you 30 percent you can go for any three of these 
for £15 or $20 should you wish. Uh, so you've got a great price however uh, you grab them. Don't forget about the sequins as well if you want to make those beautiful uh, shaker cards. They're there on the website. Make sure you get them to your, into your uh, basket. We are having a really, really busy show. Um, I will say now's a great time to order. You can watch and shop at the same time on our website. So crafterscompanion.wherevereyouare.co.uk.com or .eu. But now, I mean, we're, we've still got nearly a whole hour left. If there's anything you would love to see or any ideas you've had, we love it when you share your ideas with us in the comments. So do that over on our Crafters uh, TV Facebook page and you can uh, send us pictures still as well, of course, studio at craftscompanion.co.uk. But I can see um, Leanne's just done her sort of mid-show yoga and she's like a coiled spring over there ready to go, so I'll hand you back. I've got me little step, Joe. I do me steps when I'm waiting and he's talking to you. I'm me little step here. I get me yoga bits in and me step. I do me, um, me aerobic exercise. That's what I'm trying to do. Now, I've got um, my favourite Crafter's Companion tool of all time on my desk. It is the ultimate tool that every crafter needs. And in fact, actually is the first product that I ever bought from Crafters Companion before I was an employee of Crafters Companion with my own pennies and I still own and use every time I craft back in the day all those years ago. So I've got my Ultimate Pro and I'm just going to do a gatefold card. So you're going to follow the, the lines. Now you will have half fold A4 in the UK and you will have half fold USA uh, half fold US letter size if you're using your Ultimate Pro in the US if you've got your Ultimate Pro. If not why not get one um, but if you've got another scoring board that you use you want to do half fold then gate fold and then you want to turn your card around and gate fold again okay oh get the line there okay then you're going to trim that i'm just going to pop this out of the way for now oh down there you are going to trim that down to five and three quarter inches in height and that's going to give you um, I'm going to trim it down I'm using my guillotine my crafters companion guillotine how many of you have got your crafters companion guillotines at home and love it so many of you message me on a daily never mind weekly basis I mean look at that through double-sided centura all folded straight through like a warm knife through butter you tell me that you adore your guillotine and that you would never use or be without it um, never use another one or be without it which is fantastic you're then going to take your stencils for the numbers that we're using so we're going to use a three and a zero for a 30th birthday so i'm just looking for my zero i used it one of my 40 before didn't i here it is found my th uh, zero so i need my stencil from my zero and my stencil from my three and actually just so you um can see what we're going to be doing so you can see the journey i'm going on let me show you the card we're going to be making we're making this happy birthday 30 with the foldy back three and zero on the gate fold how oh, cool but they're that? like, it's a flappy 30. But it's a flappy 30, oh. so it's not like... No, you like can tell your sentiments could be flappy 30th. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> Joe, I'll tell you what, you're on a roll today, mate, oh. aren't you? My word, he's on fire. If I'm this sharp, though, at this time of the day, it means that as the day progresses... Is it going to go down the cliff? Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm, I'm, the, I'm the same. Now, remember the top tip that we used for the... For the, um... Shake a card, that's the word I'm looking for. Remember the top tip in terms of getting your stencil the right way around and in the right place. Same applies here for your flappy 30 card. So what you would do is just look, I want my flappy 30 here. So I want my stencil, see that's not lining up. I would have drawn around that and I would have had the stencil in the wrong place. So always put your die first just to make sure that you're getting your stencil the right way around. Then just move the die out of the way. And that's all you need to do and I'm hanging the stencil off the end because we're making the flappy 30 card and then I'm just going to choose the size that I'm drawing round and actually for this one I'm going to draw around the outside edge okay so draw around the outside edge for the 30 there for the number three and then I've got my cut line and then I do exactly the same for my zero and actually the bottom of the zero is a little flatter 
than the top. It's a little more flat to make it look like a zero. So do the same thing again, put it on and then take your stencil and make sure it matches up perfectly. Move it along. There we go. So I know I've got the stencil the right way around. And then I'm just going round, whoops, going round the outside of my stencil there. So I've got a half three and a half zero with my stencil. Okay. That's how easy that was. Moving that out of the way in true crafter's companion style. You see, I've done the same again here. Um, and I've got the three and the zero. And then all I'm going to do is take my scissors and cut around those exactly as we did when I was doing the 40 card earlier. And it's so much easier to move your card rather than your scissors. So you see my scissors stay still and I am rotating the cardstock. Uh, yeah. Just and also quite simple, just a, it's quite an easy one to follow. I'd say if you're fairly new to die cutting, it's good for beginners. Would you say this one, Leanne? Oh, incredibly easy. I mean, you know, these stencils and numbers. If you're brand new to crafting, this is just going to be something in your stash, your stash extender, your stash builder. In fact, in that case, where you've just got them and you can always go to them for whatever anniversary or celebratory occasion you're making a card for that has a number attached to it extremely versatile so you've seen how easy that was that's my um gatefold card all ready to go and i've got another one here I've got, i could in fact make two look so here we are all ready and then i've just done inside there some matting and layering with some black and white cardstock that's ready to go now i'm going to cut out my numbers you with my patterned paper so I've got a piece of patterned paper here, two pieces in fact. I've got the pieces already done, so I can oh, I can make two cards. Joe, I'm going to do it as well, and then we'll give one away. Why not? Um, and then I'm just stacking up my numbers. So easy to do, just on your patterned paper. And the great thing as well, I mean, if you even if you did like things like. Um you know, craft fairs and stuff like that. Mm. And nothing to stop you actually having these and then personalising one uh, stuff for people, which yes. would be fantastic. Um, I'm not sure, but races, I can't have any more tea for some reason. <laughs> I'm not sure what. Oh, is it because I'm a bit hyper this morning, Ray? Is that what you are referring to? A lot of people saying how much they love their guillotine as well, Leanne. Um, yes. Always forever popular. And Cheryl saying just how much she uses her Ultimate Pro as well. Loads of you, uh, I know, got that. Loads of you, in fact, as well, snapping up this deal right here. Remember, it's our last day of our price blast event to make the most of these pricing. We blasted them as low as we can go. And with this collection, I would say, you know what, with a lot of collections, Leanne, we say, don't we, you know, if you want to, you can just kind of cherry pick or just get a couple. Surely, I think with this, it's really important that you get the whole collection, isn't it? Oh, definitely, because you need all of the numbers to make every number you need and actually you've just seen me making cards with two numbers on here but you can join a couple together and make a card for a hundred if you want to if that's what you want to do so it could be how many so if you're missing somebody how many times i thought of you this week 120 or whatever it is you know you can just do so many different things with numbers rather than it's just your 27 today there you go or happy 18th anniversary whatever it is i think they're just incredibly versatile um, and like you said, George, at the moment on the high street, everywhere, it's all about personalisation and customisation, isn't it? And making things that are personal to the person or the couple or the event or the celebration. And these will absolutely allow you to do that You could almost make a big cardboard. I'm just thinking of other things you could do. You could make a big cardboard, um, you know, like a date. What's it called? The thing you have on your desk that tells you the date. And oh, You, you change calendar. it, don't you? Is it a calendar? You know, sometimes they're with like dice or cubes, aren't they? And you move the cubes yes. every day. You could make some big ones of those, some really fabulous sparkly ones with glitter and mirror card and all sorts of things. You could because then if you do them as I'm doing here and then when once, oh, I'll show you when I've done this. Actually, that's a fantastic idea. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Fantastic. Um, um, right. And also, as we said, years as well is another one that you can yes. do, all of you different years. Whether you're doing them in a four or a two number, um, a four or two number configuration, counting down as well. We see countdowns. Maybe you're going to make someone uh, the counting down the days to a milestone birthday or a holiday or their wedding or you know. I think there's loads of things. Numbers so so useful. Or maybe you just want uh, really really sort of glitzy maths equations. You can make those with this as well. You could definitely make uh, maths sparkly with these. I reckon. 
you could absolutely now did you see what i did there while we were having a chat about some different things you could do i just traced around the whole outside of the stencil onto a piece of white cardstock and then by the magic of tv i've cut them out and i've got a three and a zero ready there for the front of my gatefold card but just thinking about your exceptional idea joe for the calendar what you could do is this so this is going to be the front of my card but you could do this and glue it all down and then you know those hole punches um where you can go through several layers put two holes in and then you could put you know those little clippy round rings that come open like the book binding rings mm -hmm. get some of those yes. Put all of your numbers put them in the top Flippy. Flip them over, yeah. Flip like them up. Flip, put, like it on a flippy, a, put it on a little card. Make yourself a half fold card. I'm making the card now as well. I can't even, because I'm so excited about the <laughs> idea, Joe. I'm doing it. I'm getting the ultimate pro out. Okay, fabulous. Um, because I just think it's a marvellous idea. And if you're all sat at home thinking, well, how on earth would I do that? Well, let's have a look. Let's show you how you would do it. I mean, really, it's just such an amazing idea. And I hadn't thought about this. I'm making this up as we go along, Joe. On the hoof. We're on the hoof with this. Is it off the hoof or on the hoof? Uh, on the cusp, off the hoof. I th is it on? Is it? It's what, it, whatever so. hoofy thing we're doing. Um, we're doing it. We're doing it with hooves. That's what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> is it on the hoof? A horse's yes. hoof. It's on the. We're doing it with a horse's hoof. That's exactly what <laughs> we're doing. So you would make yourself a little um, tent fold like this. Look, and you see how I just did that on the ultimate, and then glue it so you've got a triangle look and then it, you would make it with a bigger piece of card so you, it would stand up higher and then when you've done your little rings on there you could attach them and then you can flip them ah, over wonderful do you see what i mean mm. that would be fantastic wouldn't it yeah anyway, and really great we digress we digress so what i've got is here cut out from a full drawing round of the stencil the three and the zero and we're just going to glue those in place now to make my flappy 30. so they're going to get tape pen on the base of the card here and I actually would probably use a wet glue unless you've got a craft that's running out. Unless you've got a craft, it's because we all use them so much. Running out, need a new one. A lot of, um, someone, uh, Tony saying as well, she went to the pharmacy yesterday and saw some big number cards. They went up to 21. The number was printed on the card. They were $6.95 oh. each. And they weren't great. They were cute and different from the rest, but not spectacular like these. Well, actually, you think you're not really paying... You're only paying a few dollars more than $6.95 for each of the numbers when you get them in this configuration. And you're getting the die and the stencils that's going to allow you to create these time and time and time again and have something that is super, super fabulous. So, yeah, absolutely. When you compare it to buying them, much better this way. Yes, I totally agree. I mean, and, and they do end up just being in your stash and end up paying for themselves time and again with when you've used them a few times. Then what I've done is, so I've got my little flappy card base ready now. Then what I've done is take the same two stencils. So you see, actually, the stencils are crucial. You're using them a lot to do all of the different little bits and bobs you need, which is why we include them as an extra in the packet with the die, so you didn't have to start worrying about working it out yourself. Um, what I've done is, on black cardstock, use my stencil and use the first cut line and then on a craft card I've used my stencil and gone round to the next line in which when I glue them together gives me the perfect matte and layer and I've done the same for the three and the zero okay Fabulous. so that's what I've done with those and now we're going to glue those in place too and actually I'm going to use my all-purpose to do that someone was saying earlier as well about tips about stopping your glue from making your cardstock go wrinkly right uh, yes so um if you've got your cardstocks going wrinkly with your glue, you're using the wrong glue. Okay. So if you're using on matte cardstock like this, so matte white with no, no shiny surface, that means it's not Centura, it's not glitter, it's not matte mirror, it's not shiny mirror, it's not anything else that's coated, collal all purpose. And that's because it is a um, solvent-based glue which means it isn't, doesn't have any water in it, which means it doesn't then soak into your cardstock and make it wet and wrinkly, which is what's happening. And also for your scrapbook papers like this, this is a thin scrapbook paper. To put this on here, I will most certainly use Kalal All Purpose. I would never use a water-based glue like my, like my tacky glue or any other kind of wet white PVA glue onto your pretty papers or your matte cardstocks like this without a coating on because it will wrinkle and bubble. 
If you want to stick onto your shiny cardstocks like your Centura, your Mirror, your Glitter, your Matte Mirror, then you use a water-based glue like Tacky because if you use your solvent glue, it just strips the coating off the cardstock and doesn't stick, which is why you wouldn't use your all-purpose for that. So we definitely need a glue school, Joe. We do need glue school. Maybe we, we need, do, to, maybe don't we need to make it make it happen. Maybe we can get a glue bundle together and do a little glue school. Uh, maybe we could do a glue school in a creative craving show. I think that yeah. might be a nice place for a, a glue school. I will. Um, I'll ask the questions uh, and see what we can do, Leanne. Oh. oh. Oh dear. Oh, it doesn't what? matter. I'm going to have two different. So look what I thought. Oh, do you know what? I'm going to use the green side of my paper. It's pretty. However, oh, you can mix some error. Match. You can mix some I'm going to. I'm going to have. I'm going to have a different, a different one. That's Fabulous. going to be a special Leanne card that's coming out to you. Um, where we're having two different patterns on the numbers. Uh, Sean Sterling is saying, Joe, could you please ask Leanne to consider to deliver. Let me try that again. Uh, could you please ask Leanne to consider developing alphabet dies in this format, please? Oh, um, have we not? How well, we've got the shadow alphabets, haven't we? Which are kind of along a similar sort of vein. Uh, they'll you'll find those on our website. But I think these would be lovely. Maybe yeah. a little bit smaller, though, Leanne. Don't you think? Do you the think? Letters? Do you well, want the yes. smaller Sean and Jonathan's are the same size? Let yes. me know. Well, let everybody tell us that and let mm. us know how you would like them. Um, well, do you know what? Yes, we haven't done them and that is very remiss of us. I think that's a fantastic idea. Fantastic. So, uh, leave that with me. I'm, in fact, having a product. Here's news coming in, um, Insider News for all of you watching. Oh, hang on. Um, I'm, having a little, I'm having a little product planning meeting this right. afternoon for 2020. And a year. Shoogie so Shoogie we in could, Swedish is 2021, just is, so you know. Oh, well, there you go. Yeah. So get your ideas in and um, we could probably talk well, about it. one that we would meeting. definitely love, and I know yeah. we sort of talked about it a little bit briefly the other day, but we didn't really have a serious conversation about it, was trying to maybe get the uh, fabric that our apron and our um, storage caddies and everything is in, if we could get it on a by-the-meter fabric, because loads of people are saying they want to make curtains with it to match in their craft room. So if you could, um, if you could consider this uh, my formal expression of interest in that idea Liam that would be wonderful okay I have made a note of that I've got my pen here Joe I'm writing it on my hand which I hope is... you're writing it formally <sighs> fat Joe wants the floral fabric uh, yes, by please. the meter full oh. stop the end thank okay. you very much no problem no problem <laughs> consider it noted <coughs> <laughs> so you see there our flappy 30 is all done joe so That's i just gorgeous. use the stencils to do the mats and layers i found another zero so i've managed to cover up my flower because it was it was messing with me symmetry i couldn't cope um <laughs> and there we've got our little flappy 30s ready for you so it's just a little twist and take on the gatefold because we did it as the gatefold with a stencil then cut the full numbers out with a stencil and stuck them on there which gave us that fabulous way of using them how fantastic for that as a 30th birthday invitation as well. You know, if you're having a really glitchy 30th, 40th, 50th birthday, uh, then that would be a great way to go as well. 47.94 gets you all of them. So uh, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. 0, the only way you can get 0 is in this big collection. So if you want to get the whole set, which I know you do, pretty much all of you are going for the whole collection, especially when it's on uh, such a great deal. 47.94 or 77.70, uh, a third of a really big stock of sold out and gone remember tens of thousands of you watch this show back um after it has aired uh i want to robin's very excited there's a lot of capital letters about the fabric in the comments here as well i hear you i see you i feel you robin i will do our best uh christine has sent some photos into us which is fantastic for some gorgeous 18th cards is that acetate there on the left hand side or is that oh. mirror oh is it a mirror oh my mirror word card? yes because it's got a reflection in it hasn't it Mm. That is fantastic. Also, must be twins. Must, must be, be twins. twins. Oh, how fabulous! I only realised recently that identical twins can't be opposite sex. I didn't know that until recently. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, either. so you can only be identical twins if you are the same sex. Well, it makes sense when you think about it. It really does make sense. Well, but, but actually, I, that's a news to me too. But when it you is. think about it, you're like, well, of course. Mm. But you would never have thought about it, would you? Yeah, no, not at all. Uh, here is another fantastic card from Sean sent this one in. Thanks, Sean. Uh, he, uh, as this is a lovely Iron Man 
Uh, we were talking about this the other day. Interesting topic for you in a podcast I did last night. Iron Man, you know when you do like the, the marathon, the bike racing, and then the swimming, it's an Iron Man. But the women's competition, when they compete and when they win, they're also an Iron Man, not an Iron Woman. I was suggesting maybe we could have Iron People and you should be an Iron Person. You know, it's 2020. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Thank you, Sean, for that. Uh, Jenny has also sent a gorgeous card in for us. Ah, oh, that's very glitzy. Oh, is that a bit of foiling I spied there, uh, spy there in the background? That might be our foiled background mm. there, you know, Joe. That looks amazing. Uh, it really does look quite fantastic. I love the addition of the mat over the top of the foiling. Makes it look really, really gorgeous. Now, remember, you can use your Club Inspire discount with all of the fantastic savings uh, that we bring you here on Crafters TV. Uh, if you're new to us here and you're not familiar with Club Inspire, then here is all the details. Welcome to Club Inspire, our free loyalty club. As a member of the club, you can save up to 20% every time you shop with us. For every pound you spend, whether it's in one of our stores or on our website, you'll collect one loyalty point. The more points you have, the more benefits you'll receive. As a welcome present, we'll give you 20% discount with your very first order. Once you place your first order, you'll be given 250 points straight away, making you a bronze member. This will mean that you'll receive a 5% discount on all of your purchases until the end of the next calendar year, plus priority postage. 500 points takes you up to silver membership, where you'll get 10% discount, plus free shipping when you spend over £20. When you get to 750 points, you'll become a gold member, which gets you a whopping 15% discount on every order, and will ship them to you completely free, no matter how big or small they are. Spend over £25 and we'll send them to you via our premium next day delivery courier service. When you reach 1500 points, you'll become a Platinum member, giving you the same shipping benefits as a Gold member, but with the added bonus of a massive 20% discount on all of your purchases. Now on top of that, you'll receive exclusive discounts, sneak peeks of brand new products, special offers and money saving vouchers. You'll have access to an exclusive secret Facebook group to meet like-minded friends, to find out information first and to be inspired by all the crafty makes. We'll send you a completely free quarterly Digimag direct into your inbox, giving you lots of hints, tips, inspiration, additional offers and some sneaky behind the scenes gossip from the team. So what are you waiting for? Become a member of our club today. All the details there of Club Inspire. Gemma from YouTube says Leanne is so good for crafty tips. Isn't she just Leanne? Uh, we've got our resident biologist on hand, Pam, as well, who lets us know. I'm not sure that Pam is a biologist, but, you know, for the purposes of this story, she's a biologist. Identical twins are one egg that splits. Non-identical come from two eggs being fertilised at the same time. There you go. Now you know. Uh, Carol saying she loved the pictures that were being sent in. Loved the foiling. Um, oh, yes. Yeah, so uh, she says, um, in our town, several of us have adopted a, do a senior citizen that lives alone uh, with everything that's going on. Isn't that? Uh, oh. So that people are lonely uh, in quarantine. Her senior citizen that she's adopted is 87 this year. So these would work great for that. What a lovely idea, Carol. Um... Also, Deborah saying, I love all the shows you have. Uh, I live alone with two dogs and you make my days. Please don't stop them. That's from Deborah uh, Sutherland. Thank you very much. Now, I just want to recap the details of everything you're getting in here. 47.94, 77.70. It's a price blast price. Last day of our price blast event. Uh, and also 40% now the stock has gone. There's a lot of you in the checkout process as well at the moment. So do grab it. Uh, what price blast means is that we took the prices as low as they would normally go. And then we've blasted an extra bit off them. So it's an extra 10% you've got off. So for a lot of the products you're seeing with this price blast label, it will be uh, the lowest price that you've seen us bring them to you at. So definitely get stocked up when you see that logo there. Do you want to just quickly, uh, do you fancy showing us some of the things we can do? this Leanne oh I'd love to because there's so many different ways and I think when you see 
all of the different inspiration here, the different colours, the styles, the different configurations, you're going to understand what I've been waffling on about for the last uh, hour and a bit. So you can see here, we've just got a beautiful, plain, gorgeous coordination cards for a five-year-old. Look at this. Look at the bling on. This is almost a Beyonce one, Joe. We've got that fabulous kind of faux leather sofa texture. We did a 3D folder like this years ago. Um, yeah, it's a couple of years, one year, a few months ago. And... <laughs> I'm trying to remember <laughs> then in the past <laughs> when it wasn't in the future and we've put a little gem in the centre of where all the crossovers are you see it's for a silver wedding anniversary 25 look here we are a 30th a golden wedding anniversary look how beautiful that is this is for somebody who is 73 today which is wonderful we've got our little one-year-old there we've got our fabulous 40th card our 86 that we were looking at before or 98 depending on how old you are a unicorn shaker gorgeous i've shown you how to do those oh what um, now unicorn shaker look it's well it's just Shut unicorn colors door. isn't it look <gasps> isn't that gorgeous is that? now this is being cut out but then look at the clever bits that we've done here for this we've took the spare bit and put it in the middle and then we've used the, te the stencil and gone round and we've cut the foreign and we've got that lovely little outline to outline your shaker i think that's glorious there's one very similar to the one i did somebody who's 70 and somebody who's 20. now here's where it gets interesting oh look at this i never even thought of this look at this joe twister wow. number easels look at Fabulous. that and that's just cutting the template You're twisting my easel man oh uh oh twisting <laughs> your, twisting your melon man twisting your <laughs> Twisting your numbers, man. That's a song, isn't it? Twisting your melon, man. Isn't Don't it? get yourself in a twist. I am. I'm getting myself in a twist. You know what I'm like. And I start <laughs> digging myself in a hole and the hole gets deeper. So twisted easels, fantastic. I love the fact of doing the numbers just over the top of a big shaker background. If you're not confident doing your shaker number, look at that. 35 embossed 3d embossed gold mirror card to cut that out looks exceptional now here i've just can, can we have a look overhead for this one look at this can you see can I you thought see there were sweets in there for a minute look what it's little ladybirds oh. and when you shake them the little ladybirds are coming for a walk all around the shaker card so not real get, ladybirds. Not real ones. Don't Thank collect goodness. them out the garden. That would be cruel. Um, but look, you can see. So you could put little shapes, little epoxy. If you make little polymer clay shapes yourself or you buy the little embellishments, that's amazing. No ladybirds were one, harmed in the making of that car. No ladybirds with the spotty bottom were made. <laughs> I knew you were going to say Harming that. that at all. Now, I've got to show you this. Look at this. Do you see what this is, Joe? Oh, is that an edge ball there on the top? Oh, it's a table. Look at that for weddings. What a great table idea. Table eight. Do you see, you don't realise how many times you need a number in your life until you really start thinking about it. So if you're making all of the lovely big um, table plans for weddings, look how gorgeous you can decorate it and glorious you can make them. You can do all of the seating plan, which matches in with the cardstocks where you've used your edgeables that you've already got at home to make the wedding invitations and the order of service and the little place name cards. I mean, truly brilliant. You don't realise how much you need a number until you really start thinking about it. <laughs> maybe you can never remember, uh, maybe you can never remember the children's phone numbers. You could have the numbers on the wall in the kitchen by the phone or in the hallway, so you never forget them. Again, get them nice and big as well, because I know a lot of you talk about them not having the best eyesight. Uh, Christina said, oh, I've got breaking, breaking news. If I had glasses, I'm going to shuffle my papers like I'm in using. Breaking news, I've just heard from the boss. <gasps> Uh, that there will be a UK only warehouse sale oh. happening in the near future. Oh. So I know a lot of you uh, are saying, oh, Dog. we wanted to be able to get involved in the warehouse sale. We're going to do a UK only warehouse sale for you in the near future. And so always good to uh, know that. So the US one will be happening tonight. The UK, oh, hang on, let me give you, let me pass you some papers. Hang on, let me find some papers. Stay there, bear with, Sit, bear, bear with. with, bear with. Here we go. Um, Sorry, shall I just make a noise? Beep, 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 beep. And we now cross over for a live news bulletin from Crafters TV. Breaking news here at Crafters Companion TV. There will be a UK warehouse sale coming to you in the very near future. Now back to the weather. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, so there you go. So now you know. Now I'm gonna have to go and get my notes. Stay there because I'm gonna throw them at you. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> uh, so uh, where were we? The numbers. That was it. Uh, Forty-seven ninety-four. If you want to grab these seventy-seven dollars uh, seventy to get those, which is fantastic. Remember, it's the only way that you can get the zero. Over forty percent of the stock has sold out and gone. Where has the time gone today? Can you believe there's only twenty-two minutes left uh, on this show? People, are, it's, it's fair game now for what people want to see here in the comments uh, about what products they want. <laughs> Uh, Christine saying she loves us. We love you too, <laughs> love uh, Christine. You too. Deborah saying we're hilarious. Uh, Tartan paper pad is what uh, Robin. Robin, you have only get so many requests a day. I'm afraid it was you that requested the fabric. Uh, the fabric in the first place. I'm only joking. Keep getting them in. We love uh, hearing all of your different ideas. Uh, a left-handed guillotine. Uh, some maybe some larger card stocks is another one. Uh, more photo poly uh, polymer stamps as well. Um, ladybugs. Is it true? Ladybirds or ladybugs? I always they were always called both when I was a kid oh. and also was it just an urban myth that they were poisonous let me know oh. in the comments what do you think Leanne I think well I think Lady Bird um, and I've, I've never known them be poisonous so they I are know. not apparently breaking news we can't go for it again no nope. uh, they are not uh, toxic to humans but they are poisonous to some animals i mean this is uh, you're learning here with us you know not just in the crafty sense every single day which we love right very very busy on the numbers also um the embossing folders please let me just share you uh share with you those embossing folders again because they're really really busy uh, in here you've got a really great selection so you're going to get in here you're going to get the rick rack uh, you're going to get the uh, waves in here you're also going to get decorative lace and you're going to get the geometric florals as well all four of them 14.54 or 16 dollars 84 is your price there now the essential uh dies these are fantastic i'm going to quickly whiz you through all that you get in here you get grandma granddad auntie father step uncle nephew great cousin wife mum our nana niece grand sister dad friend brother son silver golden anniversary celebrate number one world's best on your punctuation belated with love so if you want to be able to personalize all of those gorgeous card projects uh, that you're making this is a way to do it uh, 2438 these should be 60 pounds 69 in the uk look at the saving in the us this should be $92.19 in the US. It's $36.87. You have got a whacking great shut the back door saving uh, just there. Uh, I need to go and show you as well those fancy fonts. Very, very busy for everything now as we move towards the end of this show. So you've got uh, things like love and thinking. Uh, remember what you've got as well. You've got the die cut element, which is this element just here. And then what you've got is all of those stamps which are going to sit around there. So things like family and friends, uh, thanks. Uh, they are available as a whole collection here, as you can see on your screen, £50 or $60. You can go for them in threes as well uh, if you want to. I think Love was the one I started on. There's so many in here. There you are, all the way back through. So grab all of those, £50, $60. We've done lots of shaker cards, shaker cards. So you need uh, some sequins to go in there. Taylor Swift's uh, favourite card, shaker card, shaker card. I can't, I cannot confirm that. It may be fake news. Um, maybe she's into a twisted easel. Who knows? Email in Tay Tay if you're watching. Uh, we've got the sequins for you. You've got them in the red. You've got them in the gold, and you've got them in the silver. Uh, they've been out of stock for so so long, and I know you guys have been waiting for these to come back in. Three fifty, uh, two sixty nine or 355 uh, silver is your favorite red not far behind oh i've got them in the right order there we are right you've still got time to get your emails into us crafters as she gets crafts companion .co.uk. you still got definitely got time uh, to drop us a comment as well uh, over on Facebook and get any questions in. Let us know uh, what you're excited. Don't forget, myself and Debbie, what am I like, Robinson, uh, will be here at 4 p.m. in the UK, 11 a.m. 
uh, on the East Coast with creative, it is Wednesday, isn't it? Yes, it is. Creative, so much has happened for it only to be Wednesday already. There's so <laughs> much great stuff. Um, creative Cravings, which is really our back to basics, all learning together show. Do you know what? Wednesday's, Leanne, quite a good show, isn't it? For our beginners, you know, for, for education all day, really. Really, I think it is. I love doing these masterclasses because if you've already got them at home, um, the product that we're showing you, it just refreshes, rejuvenates, re-inspires you to get things out. If you haven't tried them, well, it's something new to have a little go with and extend your stash at home. It's a good stash builder, isn't it? But I really love the Creative Cravings show, actually, Joe, because that truly is for people who are just starting their crafting journey. And where better than to start with Crafter's Companion, who has in my opinion the best tools and products in the business um, and we do give you lots and lots of inspiration as well and of course all of our fantastic guests are here just sharing their experiences with you and I think that's amazing Joe isn't it it really is now let's have a look now we've been looking at cards which geared for like our flappy 30 um, and the 40 that we did before all of the numbers have been working where they should left to right or is that right to left Left to right, left to right. I'm, I'm never get me left and me right together. What happens if you want to do something a little bit different? And you want to just do your 18 like that? Do you like know what that, that looks like, Leanne? What does, what does that it look like? It really Joel? reminds me, oh, sorry, excuse my water. It really reminds me of a, um, a guitar. Me That's what it looks too. a bit like, yeah. That's what I was going to say. My next thing um. I was going to do was this. Which is the impersonation <laughs> of Ben oh, I thought Ted. it was more of an acoustic guitar. On or there, a little oh, ukulele, maybe. On there, oh. When I'm cleaning windows. George Formby. George Formby. I think it looks like a guitar as well. And if you did that in dark colours and then put that bit in there, the bit that you cut out, that bit there from your number eight, fill that back in and did it in your craft cards and your black and put that underneath behind, you could make a guitar from this. Mm, I think we're going to have to do that. Um, I will never do a Bill and Ted impression again on live craft <laughs> TV. I apologise. So what we've got to do this is a long piece of card could be your A4 or your US letter size and just folded it lengthways rather than in half as we would usually. And then you've seen me do this now a couple of times on this show. I've done exactly the same thing. I've popped my stencil on, but what I have done is check with my number that my, that my stencil is in the correct orientation so that when I draw around it and I've used the second line in on this one that I get it in the correct vertical alignment that's the word I'm looking for and then I've done exactly the same with the number one the thing I love about this is the number one has a tiny curve on the bottom and so it beautifully I'm just going to pick it up so you can see I'm not sure if you can beautifully matches the top of the eighth there can you see how fab that is so I've cut I've drawn round both of these I know we've not got loads of time so I'm I'm speeding it for you and then we're going to use our fabulous best in the business crafters companion scissors um, and we're going to cut round the outside of the stencil and we're going to leave it attached on this end because actually I'm just going to mention what I did there I think that's a good point when I'm putting the stencil on and I'm drawing round it notice how I'm leaving a bit of it hanging off the edge here I'm doing that so that creates the hinge space for me on the numbers ah, I so see. I won't cut through those which allows my card to open and shut I think that's a good point isn't it so just going round and again notice that I move my card not my scissors if you are a new crafter and you're struggling to cut things out smoothly or cleanly this is my top tip to you always move your card not your scissors and cut in the jaw of the scissor not with the tip and you will get much more precision and you will be able to go around curves a lot more tightly and you will get a much smoother cut it's nothing to do with the quality of the scissor or your ability or your personal ability it's how you're using the card and using the scissor so cut in the jaw of the scissor move the card not the scissors so don't hold that still and try and whip, 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 all the way around because that's not going to work oh see i think that's what i do i Is think it? i move try and move the scissors and not use move the keep your scissors stop. still Okay. Keep your scissors still, move your cardstock, and all will be good in the world. Uh, Ellen is saying that she loves her scissors. They are the best, aren't they? Just the best. I remember when we launched these scissors in the UK together, yeah, you and we I, did. Leanne, and they are just... I mean, you might look at them and think, do I want to pay that for scissors? 
but you do you really do because yeah. they are tremendous scissors as our Sarah would say yeah they are tremendous as our Sarah would say <laughs> so you see I have got there my half fold card now by hanging the stencil off the end drawing rounded cutting round I've now got that number 18 I've then done exactly the same with my stencil so I've done it on some lovely mirror card and I've drawn round the mirror card with my stencil and then just cut it out and I've done that for the eight and the one you can see there and they're going to get glued onto my card base uh, we've had a set out I'm afraid yeah. oh. I to let you know it is a case of you know you do need to grab things whilst we've got them here they were a back in stock message a silver sequins I haven't got a box I can't throw them on the floor I'll throw it on the table ready sold out and gone congratulations you can still get you can still get the red ones or the green ones if you want to. They are in stock, but they are going very, very quickly. So do grab them if you want them. Then you take your patterned papers. You've got beautiful, beautiful patterned papers here. And what you would do is take your die. So I'm going to take my number one there and my number eight. Stack it up onto your, paper, onto your plates and we're going to run them through. Um, and these dies do cut through more than one layer if you want them to or a little bit thicker because they these are uh, thicker than a decorative die but not quite as thick as our mixed media dies so if you want to cut through like one layer of fabric and applique them onto a quilt you can do that with these dies if um, you want to cut them out and felt you can do that too pam has made a she has just reminded me yes i have pam indeed so she loves the scissors uses them all the day every day joe has uh, seen the lovely bag i made to put them in uh, pam has made like a storage wrap for all oh. of her scissors to go in like hang pretty sure it hangs up uh, she did show it to me when uh, she when we had a little video call when she was one of our, our craft ambassadors previously how amazing i'd love to see that in fact actually pam will you share a picture um yeah. in, because i would really like to see that oh yeah email us a picture yeah um, studio uh, at craftscompanion.co.uk she always sends us in uh, the most lovely pictures uh, Pam so yes please drop us a picture if you wouldn't mind Pam that'd be lovely yeah I might Pam uh, give you a job of sending us in the pattern so that our lovely customers could make bags to put their scissors in themselves mm. <gasps> wouldn't that be nice that would be lovely mm. right so you see I used my dies and I cut out the 8 and 1 so I've got my 18 card building up nicely um, there now because I've got my spare pieces if you wanted to because it's all it's all patterned you could repeat that on the inside of your card so the inside of your card isn't plain love that and that would be quite nice wouldn't it then write your message in here I quite mm. like that so I think I'm, in fact I'm going to do it Joe do it it's yeah. rogue. I'm doing it I like that I just thought of that there on the hoof Joe and I like um, it the Sonia says uh, the I finally ordered the scissors because uh, you guys have talked about how great they uh, they are. Um, being a quilt for so long, I have so many pairs of scissors, um, so she can't wait for them now to arrive. Took her a while. She got there in the end with ordering them. They are fantastic. I do I know I do know you'll love them, Sonia. Do let me know uh, how you get on with them uh, once they do arrive. Lots of people having lots of lovely big boxes from HSN arriving at the moment here at uh, 47.94 uh, if you want to grab these remember it gives you all of them uh, or 77.70 that it's a price blast price is the last day for our price blast price blast deals it took me nearly a whole week good job it was a week long event because it took me nearly a whole week to learn how to say it for a start um, so do grab it whilst it's on this great price a lot of the uh, products we bring into it their lowest price because we've blasted a little bit extra off over 40 percent is what you are are saving there with that one Leanne this looks absolutely beautiful isn't it lovely I really do like this I've just done another little form flower there Joe I do love our form flowers and I make I never buy flowers anymore now I always make okay. them out of form with our dyes and form they're be just beautiful cut a couple of little swirls out from a swirly collection I've got in my stash and then I've used those fabulous little sentiments with the mats again I do love those they just make a lovely little extra embellishment where you see you don't want to detract from the 18 and I've got my lovely flower there and I want to say it's for a daughter but I don't want a massive daughter right across the middle of my card where I can't see the 18 so these little dies 
are the perfect accessory for just popping a little word on there and bringing the whole project together and there you go you see so because you're in control with those stencils and dies it doesn't have to be left to right it can be top to bottom and please somebody make me a guitar because this could absolutely be a guitar yes, couldn't it please maybe we need some big instrument dies maybe that's what we need a Ooh. saxophone a guitar drums a big piano Oh, that would be um, nice. Mm, I like that idea. You've got plenty of ideas to take <laughs> take with you into saves your planning meeting. Saves me a meeting. job, Joe. Saves <laughs> me a job. <laughs> um, loads of you loving that. Uh, Barbie has just placed a warehouse order. Christine saying, so pretty, Leanne. Uh, Ray saying, these are stunning. Ellen has just saying, from a back to basics point of view, so I use the stencils to make the card first, then I use the die to cut out the numbers. Am I right? Yes. Fabulous. Uh, a lovely card says Rosalind as well. Um, Brenda's got five boxes of stuff on the way. She is excited. I'm excited for you, Brenda. I hope you can uh, sense that. Uh, remember, the only way to get the zero is to grab it in this collection right here. And that's what pretty much all of you are doing in the show. Numbers five, six, seven, and eight are all very low in quantity. So if you are just cherry picking, uh, they are still your favorite at the moment. You need to be quick for them. But all of you, pretty much nearly all of you, I'd say 90% of you, 9 out of 10, are going for the whole collection. 47.94, 77.70. Um, now, do you want fancy just showing us a few more ideas, Liam? For I know we're rapidly running yes. out of time. Where has it gone today? I mean, it's flown, hasn't it, Joe? It really let's, has. let's have a look at what we've actually done in this masterclass. So we'll have a little recap of everything you've learned to do in this masterclass, which I think is great. So you see, we did the 18 so we stacked our numbers we did our number two shaker and learned how to do the shakers in the correct place we started way back nearly two hours ago doing our number 40 and doing a lovely shaped tenfold 40 card we did that number one using the waist but cutting it cleverly into a panel we did our flappy 30 card joe flappy 30 which is fabulous i've got an extra one of all of those here that i've made that we're going to send out to somebody oh, but lovely. then you see here we've got all of these this table plan genius you need them for that we had our ladybirds with the spotty bottoms um looks gorgeous doesn't it we had a nine-year-old birthday we had an eight-year-old party hat we had somebody who was 37 we had somebody who'd been in love for 39 years we had an eight-year-old card for somebody who looked totally different a golden 35 with some 3d embossing use those fabulous embossing folders in that collection you're going to get amazing results like i did on my number 40 card we've got somebody who's 30 and we had our twisting our melon man twisting our You're twisting my easel twisting your easel man we had number 37 twisting there or twisting the night away even we had somebody who was 20 we had our 70 year old we had somebody 86 but in a beautiful floral there we've got our unicorn shaker i mean so many options 25th wedding anniversary here the possibilities endless jaw and you can go to town and really bling it up look 73rd birthday you're not going to find that on the high street so the first birthday cards just absolutely gorgeous make it small make it large bling it up make it simple if you want to make it simple but most importantly really enjoy them because they work brilliantly and you're going to be able to do so much with them they are absolutely glorious. Uh, Leanne, can I say, it? it's been absolutely lovely spending the last couple of hours oh, with you. you too. We are back together again, aren't we, on Friday, Friday. Uh, what have we got Friday? Do you want to let everyone know? So on Friday, I'm really excited about this. On Friday, we're doing a masterclass with our illustrator markers, and I'm really excited about that. So we've got a full two hours of just taking our time, learning about colouring, alcohol colouring with illustrator markers, so all about those beautiful flicks and texture and dimension you can get into your work we'll look at how they'll work with the other markers that you've been getting during our colour me happy shows with our sarah we'll look at how they work with the classic markers if you've got them at home and how they're a brilliant addition to those same with your tri-blend and we'll really focus on all of the techniques and just how fabulous they are oh it sounds like it's going to be a lot of fun colour me happy myself and leanne uh, i want to show you that picture the lovely pam crate and she never disappoints our pam, pam. she always uh, comes through and sends in our picture. Thank you so much, Pam. What do you think to that, Leanne? I love that. 
I, why have I never seen that before now? It's a I shame like, that I've never seen. I feel like I've had some kind of epiphany. I need one of those in my life for my three scissors. Do you know what it looks like? Fabulous. You know when you go to a really fancy restaurant and they give you the... Or you go you go somewhere and you have yeah. a really fancy buffet and they give you the cutlery all wrapped up and it's slotted in the little slots. It's like a really fancy little uh, napkin. It really is. I love that. I think that is glorious. And everybody who has our scissors should have one of those in their lives. Brilliant pan. Fan Fantastic. Uh, right, I want to just quickly recap a few items on the shows for you. Uh, the fancy fonts, uh, word, dies and stamps, really busy on these. $50, no, £50 if you're in the UK. You can't spend dollars in the UK. £50 in the UK, $60 if you're in the US. Uh, saving 30%, you're getting 12 there. Remember, this is all about you die cutting that uh, sentiment out and then customising uh, that by stamping the other words around it. Now, the expression dies, really, really busy. Busy here. I'm going to quickly whiz you through what you're getting here. You're going to get grandma, granddad, auntie, father, step, uncle, nephew, great, cousin, wife, mum, our, nana, niece, grand sister, dad, friend, brother, son, silver, golden, anniversary, celebrate, number one, world's best, on your punctuation, belated and with love. Uh, we've got some uh, cardstock. Oh, Leanne. Oh. This is a bit of all right, isn't oh. it? Oh yes, you. Oh look, I dropped something. I've got was that, so, a hearing? <laughs> that was that was just me dropping all sorts because I got so excited that you have. Don't just don't think about it. Just do it because it's exceptional, Joe. It really is. You've got the matte mirror. Uh, you've got the uh, glitter in there as well. Uh, so three packs there for $26.50 or $34.50. Uh, those embossing folders, really, really busy on these. In here, you're going to get the decorative lace, the Rick wrap, the geometric floors and the ocean waves as well. $14, uh, £14.54 even, $16.84. It's your price blast price. Uh, that we've got there for you. Remember as well, we're going to end where we started with our fantastic uh, numbers as well. Remember all of the different fabulous ways of using these that you've got. Complete, uh, amazing for customization. Love this as well. Imagine cutting in using this with mirror or matte mirror. Uh, don't forget to shake a cards Leanne showed us. Sort of individual uh, numbers, whether they're for uh, table numbers or little cards or thank yous. Um, maybe you want to put, rather than someone's age, the day of the month that they've been born on. Absolutely, you can do that. Wonderful for things like these 90th cards as well here. Absolutely uh, amazing. One final Leanne, if people were getting a sore bottom sat on the fence, Leanne, what would you say to her about these numbers? Oh, I would say just get them. You won't, you won't realise how many times and occasions you need a number. As you see, when we look through all those fabulous samples for table numbers and everything else, there are so many occasions when you can need a number. And so, you know, sometimes when you're making cards for people and you just don't know what they love or whether it's going to be right for them or you're just, your crafty mojo's just stuck a little bit, just making a card with that number on says everything you need to say. Um, and it's just about home deco and calendars and everything else, table plans, all of the different things that we've talked about, not just about uh, anniversaries and birthdays. Uh, it really has been amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, big love to Leanne. Uh, we'll see Leanne back here on Friday. So much more to come today. Uh, I'll be back uh, next here with you today in three hours time. So four o'clock if you're in the UK, 11 a.m. if you're on the East Coast. Myself and Debbie, what I'm like, Robinson, will be here. It's going to be fun. I haven't seen her for ages. I can't give her a big cuddle, but spending a couple of hours crafting with her is going to be a, a good consolation, I would say. Don't forget to get your orders checked out on the website uh, and we'll see you back here in a few hours take care